Hey everyone, this is Mr. Dunkel. I want to show you how you can delete images from WeVideo to get them out of this uh, section up here at the top. Because sometimes you have a lot of images here that are cluttering up with the images that you really want to use or the video clips you want to use. And the other day in class, Jaden figured this out for us. So thank you, Jaden. One thing he noticed was that if you grab a image and you drag it to the right, it's going to give you the option to delete it. Now there is an exception to this. Now it's first gonna ask you, are you sure? And in this case, I'm gonna say yes. However, notice what happens here. This one tells me I can't. And the reason I can is even though I don't have Fred Flintstone on my timeline here, I do have another project where Fred Flintstone is on the timeline. So if you have an image or video clip or audio clip that's on your timeline in any of your projects, it's not gonna let you delete it out of the library. However, if you have images that aren't being used on the timeline, you can delete them. So I'm going to grab this image here, drag it to the right, say yes, and notice that that one's gone. Okay, so it, it was able to take that away. Now, if you go to your media folder, <coughs> all your images and videos are still here. Here's the one I just deleted, yet it's still here in the media section. So all I've done was just delete it out of uh, that particular project's library or kitchen cabinet, if you will. Now, one thing I do recommend though, you'll notice I've got some <coughs> folders here and I have moved my images into folders, at least some of them. And so sometimes that's an easier way of keeping all your files organized. If you click on this little plus symbol, you can create a new folder and name your folder and then you can move your stuff into that folder. And let me show you what that does. So then when you go into a project like the one I have here, You'll notice here's my regular media, but I also have these folders and I've got quite a few images inside the folders. So I can uh, keep things a little organized that way. So you may find that you don't necessarily want to delete everything out of here. Just maybe create some folders and keep everything organized. But that's how you do it. If you have any questions, feel free to email. Of course, remember that Google and YouTube are your friends. So always look online and see if you can find your answers there as well. And thank you to Jaden for helping us figure this one out. Thank you very much. Have a great day.